Hello, this is the first lecture about uh, MyDOS GTS and X. We are going to talk about an introduction about the software and we are going to talk about uh, an introduction about the process uh, of how uh, we can start our geotechnical uh, work uh from the first beginning uh, at the site when you start to take your boreholes and uh, to start with uh, field experiments and lab uh, or laboratory experiments so let's start uh the first question we have to answer what is soil mechanics or geotechnical engineering soil mechanics is a branch of soil physics and applied mechanics that describe the behavior of soil we all know that all structures and the world are built on soil so it's very important to understand the behavior of soil under this uh, uh, structures and the load uh, comes from them so uh, we should know the mechanism of the particle of soil under these loads so as we say here the behavior of par soil particles under structure loads so why do we need soil mechanics we as I said before that all structures rest on soil all over the world we never see any structure flying in the sky all structures are resting on foundations or resting directly on soil so uh, the most common structures that uh, known for geotechnical engineering or soil mechanics or foundation engineering is basically the foundations no one uh, or no 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 engineer hasn't tackled before the um, foundations uh, for building for bridges or for any structure so we know that the structure uh, transfers the load from the slabs to beams or then to columns and to the foundation and foundation uh, transfer uh, foundations transfer its uh, their loads to soil so our mission is to uh, see if the soil is gonna resist this uh, forces or not the second uh, the second uh, very common structure is dams we are all know that there are different kind of dams some dams are uh, they are from uh, blank concrete and some from reinforced concrete but one of the very common uh, dams is the earthen dam which uh, which is uh, made from earth uh there is a lot of techniques for creating earth and dam one of the uh, the very common technique is uh, hydraulic uh, fill like you start to uh, put the soil from the place uh, you can find uh, the soil you need and you add it to the to a river or to uh, any source of moving uh, water and you start to collect your uh, soil uh, at uh, dam location and you start to create your dam the other uh, application of uh, structures is embankment in roads and trains, uh, we have to create uh, a base for uh, for the road or for the uh, railway. So this uh, structure or this section, it's called embankment, and it's a part. Uh, it's like a shape of soil, uh, which like uh, take uh, the very high uh, stress and start to, dist to distribute this load all over the soil because we all know that the maximum loads are at the top but through depth the stresses and loads start to distribute it horizontally and vertically 
and the, the stress decreases with the depth. So we need embankment to create a suitable uh, foundation for the road uh, pavement and for the railway uh, structure and for distributing the loads in a larger uh, in a larger uh, uh, horizontal uh, and vertical uh, depth so if the soil is weak it can take this load the other uh, the other constructions or other structures is canals uh, and retaining structure retaining structure is one of the most common and very famous uh, structure in geotechnical engineering it has the same uh, popularity as foundation for example if we uh, go through like a building with garage or something so we have to dig and uh, up to like six meters seven meters according to uh, how many garage you need so to do so you have to have a retaining structure to retain the soil and uh, prevent it from falling into a construction area and we all know that soil has lateral pressure so to take this lateral pressure we should uh, design our structure to uh, retain and prevent this failure so uh, retaining structure can be used as well in marines like uh, we can create like sheet pile or something in marine to form the to form the the wall of the of the marine for example we can create a, dif a diaphragm wall or a double diaphragm wall and fix it with structure of beam so we can start to see why is soil mechanics is very important and why we need it uh, uh, and uh, according to this we see that soil mechanics in every kind of engineering structure so there is no uh, any construction project without geotechnical engineering so understanding geotechnical engineering or soil mechanics will facilitate uh, the understanding and we will have like uh, a clear view and vi a vision about uh, uh, about having like very economical and safe structures so the reason why we need soil mechanics as i said uh, all structures should be safe when they are resting on soil and we should obtain very economical design because we know that the, the two main conditions for uh, for a structure is to be safe safety always come at the first then we can create a safe design but it's it could be uh, very expensive not economical and uh, that would take a lot of budget uh, for uh, this project Who, uh, when you can just design a safe project with lower cost so the main concept of uh, why we need soil mechanics is safety and economical so let me tell you this uh, if you didn't have a very rigorous investigation for soil mechanics and for the soil in the construction site you will end up having like uh, a big uh, foundation size with high depth which means that you will need more reinforcement and you will need more uh, concrete uh, and you can like spend most of the project budget on just foundation so having a rigorous meticulous uh, report about the soil in this uh, area will provide will provide you with uh, with the parameter which will help you to obtain this uh, safe and economical design 
The main failure criteria for the soil is stresses and settlement. Of course, we don't need the soil to settle under the load uh, because if the soil settles, that will make the make the building or the structure lose its serviceability. There are uh, some kind of settlement like uniform settlement. If we have a building or structure, it will settle uh, uniformly, but sometimes it will tilt and it has an angle. So it is uh, it would make the structure lose its serviceability and can't be used. But the worst case is to be uh, to have non-uniform settlement. So all the structure has different values of settlement all over the base. So that will cause catastrophic failure. Stresses is the second uh, important uh, failure criteria because when we design our foundation, either uh, foundation, dams, retaining structure, uh, we need the stresses transfer to the soil to be in the limits of its bearing capacity because we know that the soil has a capacity and the stresses uh, which will be transferred to uh, the soil it should be dur uh, endurable and the soil can take it. So, final, uh, at the end, the target uh, is to obtain the most economical and safe section. We will stop uh, this video at this point and in next uh, video we will talk more about, um, uh, about uh, the, the technical report and what should be included. See you next video. Thank you.